As we learn more about this situation, officials at the Pentagon caution that even investigators don't have all the facts. Secretary Mattis. After being briefed by Defense Secretary Jim Mattis about the ambush that left four American soldiers dead in Niger, Congress is bracing for a new front in the fight against ISIS. We don't want the next 9 11 to come from Niger. Senator Lindsey Graham calling for more congressional oversight while warning Americans about the changing battlefield. The war is headed to Africa. It's beginning to morph. As we suppress the enemy in the Mideast, they're going to move. Mattis summoned to Capitol Hill to explain how elite soldiers were taken by surprise. You can always improve on communication, and that's exactly what we'll do. Public explanations coming as the internal investigation gathers steam. The FBI lending forensic support looking into how a team of well-trained special forces was ambushed, the Pentagon says, by a group of 50 ISIS-linked fighters. Military officials now say the special forces who were meeting with the tribal elders before the attack may have been delayed intentionally, allowing ISIS to attack. And a senior congressional aide extensively briefed tells NBC News that the ambush that killed Sergeant LaDavid Johnson and three other soldiers stemmed in part from a, quote, massive intelligence failure. But the Pentagon warns that such conclusions are premature. Still, there are urgent questions about why the team was exposed without drone support directly overhead. Earlier this year, the U.S. commander for Africa warned that only 20 to 30 percent of his intelligence requirements were satisfied. It's very dangerous when you carry out any mission and you don't have extended eyes and ears around yourself or the human intelligence to determine when you've met a threat. The formal inquiry taking place as the last soldier who died in Niger, Sergeant Johnson, was mourned by his family. Craig, this morning the New York York Times is reporting different accounts from the American soldiers and the Nigerian soldiers. They're telling investigators different things on whether or not they gave chase to some Islamic extremists. They're trying to clear all that up. Now, at the same time, Secretary Mattis on the Hill yesterday would not say whether or not he authorized, or President Trump, rather, authorized this mission. Talking to Pentagon officials, though, it's clear this kind of mission would not require presidential authorization. Craig? Hans Nichols for us this morning there in D.C. Hans, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.